This is Jupiter Today for the 21st of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 29 minutes, 8.7 seconds, and a declination of positive 15 degrees, 49 minutes, 27.5 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 160.798 degrees, and that's 1.136 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between Earth and the Sun, as seen from Jupiter, is 3.481 degrees, and that's 0.198 degrees less than what it was yesterday. And the distance continues to get less and less every day as we move towards opposition on the 6th of February. Today's distance is 656,403,781 kilometers. And that's 799,398 kilometers less than what it was yesterday. And that gives the relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 32,474.92 kilometers per hour, which is 1,848.21 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 337.44 degrees, CM2, 120.32 degrees, CM3, 24.39 24.39 degrees. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant three, heading west, moving towards its western elongation. Europa starts the day in quadrant three, heading west as well. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant four, heading east. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant two, heading west. The blue line indicates the direction towards Earth, and the gray line indicates the direction towards the sun. These other gray lines just mark out the four quadrants that I have identified in this geometry. At six hours UTC, EO has passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant 4, heading east. Europa continues in quadrant 3. At 12 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant 4, heading east, but it's close to starting to move in behind Jupiter. And by 18 hours UTC, EO is now passed behind Jupiter and is in quadrant one, still heading east. Europa has just passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant four, heading east the rest of the day. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is very near its eastern elongation, still in quadrant one, heading east, but gonna be moving into quadrant two fairly soon. There are two Jupiter satellite events today. First is at 1254 UTC when EO disappears into the shadow of Jupiter. And at 1537 when EO reappears from behind Jupiter. And there are two satellite neutral events. The first takes place at 347 and goes to 357 UTC, and it's when Europa eclipses EO. This is a 9.6 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.352. EO is 110.22 arc seconds from Jupiter, but Europa is only 9.5 seconds from EO. And as you can see on the Google Earth, map here. This will be at the zenith 
at this point on Earth, if you were standing at this point on Earth, you would look straight up at that time and you would see that event taking place. And this just shows the visibility of this event. You can see that a lot of Africa is going to see it, some of Western Europe, a lot of South America, and about half of the half of North America. The second event takes place from 434 to 442 UTC, and that is when Europa is going to pass in front of EO. This is a 7.9 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.271. And this is a nice distance away from Jupiter. It'll be a, a very good uh, placement for either photometry or some photography. It's 109.03 arc seconds from Jupiter. And as you can see again from the Google Earth map, we've moved a little bit, but a lot of Africa can see it. A lot of Western Europe still. Most of North America can now see it, and quite a bit of South America will be able to see this event. Okay, so 24 hours of Jupiter sky. We're standing on the equator of Jupiter, looking out. And this is what we will see if we were there over the next 24 hours. There goes Eo passing in front of Ganymede with Amalthea right there as well. No one will ever see that. I wish we were there. Europa's going to do it too. I don't know if we're going to see it though. I don't think so. We're at the, the wrong longitude to be able to see that event. But Europa will be catching up to Ganymede. There's Eo went in and out of Jupiter's shadow, as expected. Red spot crosses the meridian of Jupiter twice today, the first at 919 and the second at 1915 UTC. There were some nice images taken and posted on the internet today. And there was no new radio data, and there were no new articles. So please subscribe. I would enjoy hearing your comments and questions and suggestions. You can send those and your images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.